out from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door She's nervous. <laughs> She's a little nervous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Taking safety precautions. Leaving this place. The sun's about to I'm back in another garage, you got this. Y'all riding shotgun. Let's count, don't we? Like three seconds, because sometimes it goes up. That's only when it's super cold out, and we're concerned. But good job remembering that. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Wow. All right, have fun taking care of Grandma. All right, bye. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. This is my project for the day. Look, project for the day. Uh, hopefully it won't take me all day, but if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm getting all things school organized. I have to go through, this is all of our new material. This is all of our old material that I need to categorize, put away all the things, and then I wanna organize this. This year, I think it is going to work better with um, having, at least for my two younger, so sixth grade and third grade, it actually laid out where they can just go to each day and pull out those pages for those days. Last year, I kept everything in their books, and it just didn't, it was, it was nice because there wasn't like papers everywhere, but it wasn't as easily as a flow for them for some reason. I don't know, it was just something kinda, it just didn't go as well. It wasn't bad, but it didn't go as well as it was when I made those little pulley pulls. A lot more work on my end, like the front part of the work, but I think very, very much well worth it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that is what I'm working on. Bert and Audrey just went to grandma's house. They're gonna go drop Audrey off to go take care of grandma today. She's working three days a week, and it's worked really, really well. Um, we are obviously gearing up to start school. I know a lot of people in the States and even here have already started school. We start a little bit later um, just because of how it works with our schedule and how I map out for the year. Um, yeah, that's what I'm working on today. Um, what else? This one's still in pajamas, so we're winning at that. Hey, I'm almost at the end of the driveway. <gasps> okay. Dad had this on one of his trips. It's hard to... Oh, is she breaking up the phone? What? It's hard to drive with one arm. I'm trying to bump the road. Is she on her bike? Oh, okay. It's on a bumpy road. Bumpy road. She's doing it with one hand. Yeah. Are you excited for school to start? No. What? Nope. Never was excited. We're going to make it fun. No. We are gonna make it fun. You're gonna. I'm out. It's gonna you take. Can't hear any more. It's gonna take a little bit of coercion to get him. Yeah. He's definitely been my hardest one when it comes to the old school, but that's okay. You know, different, different kids, different things, right? What is this? We have an empty backpack. We have lots of things. Anyway. So that is what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be putting out all things, going, oh my goodness, going through things um, that we don't need, kind of getting it organized. Um, and then I think I'm going to head on over to the shop today um, and kind of work a little bit there. My bookkeeper is actually going to be there today. Um, so I might touch base with her, um, make sure she doesn't really need anything from us and everything is on schedule and all the things and stuff for Alaska Apparel, guys. I know I've been getting quite a few messages and especially when we just recently did that um, giveaway, which thank you guys so much for participating in that. It was super awesome. Um, congratulations to the winners. Another thing I wanted to address, guys, there are people that have been spamming our account. And I am so sorry and we try to get ahead of it super, super fast, but if you ever see anything like, oh, you won or please contact us for your whatever and it's got like weird signia on it and it just it just isn't right like we will probably never reach out that way um it's not us people are taking our profile picture and like spamming all of our comments 
And if you see like it's underneath like lots of different names. Yeah, hold on, Audrey's calling. Hello? Hey mom. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, so great grandma and grandpa and Aunt Cheryl, do you, have you watched Heartland before? I don't think so. I think that was Nena and Emily that watched that quite a bit, right? Isn't that okay. like the horse show? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. I, I think. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, I think it's fine. Just maybe be mindful of it. Okay. I think it's fine. Okay. Thanks for checking. I, yeah, I just don't want to watch anything that's like bad or something maybe not for my eyes meant to see. Yeah. Well, and just be mindful. And uh, if it does seem like it's kind of questionable, just don't. I mean, they don't have to shut it off. You just go somewhere else, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. She's, I appreciate that about Audrey. Because I think, you know, she's pretty sheltered, right? But I'm not mad about it. I am not mad about that. Anyway, back to my point that um, if you see anything where it's like multiple messages and it looks like it's from us, it is definitely not from us. And we are trying to block them um, and report them and all the things. So I really apologize if you guys are getting any of that spam. So... I don't know, I don't even really know how to fix it. We just report it to YouTube. That's really all that we can do. You guys, I'm sure probably most of you have started school. How is it going for you? I hope wonderful. I think this is kind of like the first week. Evelyn has had off of gymnastics this whole week because everyone is getting um, structured and organized and all the things for school. And they just, they wanted them kind of like have like a little break and they didn't have to really um, worry about it. Hey, who's all? Oh yeah, that's what I was saying too. I'm gonna go to the shop. So many cool things coming down the pike for Alaskan Apparel, guys. I know it's taken me 5,000 years to launch again, and you guys have been so patient, and I feel absolutely horrible, and I'm like, wow, can I even do this? Can I even maintain it? Is it, I'm trying, I'm really trying. It's just timing, and I think it's learning and getting ahead of the game. So, anyway. I've got lots of fun, cool things coming down the pike, which I'm very excited for. And I hope you guys are too. We might go there a little bit later if I can hurry up and get this kind of stuff done. Cause I, this is gonna take me a minute. This is gonna take me a minute. So let's send you actually over um, with Audrey and Bert. I'm gonna continue with this and we'll carry on for the day. Hello, happy people. So hope you guys are doing great. Uh, just got back from dropping off Audrey. Full throttle day today. My goodness. Uh, so much happening, so much going on. Before we get started though, real quick, I, some of you guys were asking the last video, like making a fire, like why are you guys making a fire? It looks like warm out and it's bright out and it is fairly warm out. It's like 60 degrees above zero, which is a plus. Of course it's above zero because it's still technically sort of summery folly here, but we've been heating with wood uh, for the last, what, probably two and a half months. I turned my boiler off. So, uh, and one thing that we've learned with a ranch home that we live in is it is able to pull all the cold uh, temperatures up from the ground and it keeps the house crazy cool like it'll be 80 degrees outside and we don't need air conditioning because it just stays so cold because all that ground that cold from the ground comes up and even kind of permeates through the lightweight concrete that gypcrete that is normally used for radiant floor with the boiler off it kind of soaks in the cold so anyway long story short that's this is why we're we're technically burning our wood stove when it looks warm and it's light out so all that's happened okay my wife is working on all things homeschool getting that off the ground i was supposed to take you guys to Coldfoot, alaska today but the flight was canceled so that whole trip kind of fell apart a little bit just kind of a neat place i'll probably eventually take you there service call just came in here one of our guys took care of it uh, where the power to uh, someone's uh, stove like was all fried and not working. And I started asking around and it sounds like with this last uh, high wind that rolled in here, a lot of you guys lost power. We lost power to thousands of homes here, but I started seeing the lights flash on, off, on, off, like fast. And what happened is a lot of people, uh, they toasted a lot of their appliances, a lot of electronics. They really don't like to be like turned off and on, off and on really fast. So that's been happening. So our friend Steve, I think about half his appliances in his house are, are toasted and they're like two years old. So leave a comment down below. Let us know if you were affected by that at all. As soon as that starts happening, I highly recommend you shut off your breakers, shut off your main breaker, whatever. We did that in our house. We shut it all off when it started happening. I think that's what saved uh, a lot of the power spikes. So electronics are pretty, pretty temperamental. Also, I need to go do a quick 
speed shopping run to Costco because for some reason we have no food. I don't understand. Like our freezer's full and we have no food. Like I don't know you have how you have food, but you don't have food. Uh, I guess it's mainly just the fresh stuff and regular consumable. So I'm gonna go take Garrett uh, and bring him to Costco, see if we can get this done quickly. I think that'll help out mom because she's uh, just trying to just churn through so much. So at least we can take on as a, as a Costco trip. So come with us, let's bust out a Costco trip. Let's see if we can do this fast. Here we go. You still hear me? Yes. Okay. We're seeing how long this can go. How far do you think it'll work from the house? Mm, Take a guess. A little past the driveway. A little past the driveway. Can, can she still hear you? Yeah, she can still hear me. Wow. Can you still hear me? Yes, go out and clear. <laughs> we are on the road. Can you hear me? Is. Uh, yeah. What is this? Costco. Costco. This is Costco. We are going to do a speed Costco trip. Do you know what that means? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it fast. We're gonna do it fast. We are not gonna get distracted by samples, by snacks, by treats. By maybe, maybe by chips. No, we're not even gonna let chips get in the way. We're gonna bust this out full throttle, fast man Costco speed shopping. Let's go. Three, two, one. Don't get distracted. Okay. No, don't get distracted. Bear sprint. No, I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the cornhole. No. About 22 minutes. No. Pretty good. No. Ish. Uh, how much do you think we spent? Hmm. Do you think we spent more than 100? Yes. More than 200? Maybe like 209. You think this is 209? 209. Leave your guesses down below. How much do you think we spent? I think more than 209. Let's find out. Unbox everything. Whoa. There it all is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the boys are out. They're actually going to Costco. Get some things and I was working on this and he's like, oh, I'll just go do a babe. I'm like, all right. So we're just gonna organize all the DVDs. We do this streaming, but because our internet is not very good here, uh, we decide to do the DVD option and then we just play it 
on our little DVD players, which I'm still trying to find the other one and I can't find it. So we're still on the hunt for that. But we're gonna get this organized and then we're gonna start filling up all of our carts. All right, let's check in on oh. Bert and Garrett and see how they're doing. You guys haven't been in here for a long time. I know. Okay, definitely more than 200, bud. Thing to film a Costco haul speedily. <laughs> how you been? Good, how's Richard? Richard is fine. Thanks, Richard. Have a good day. Good stuff, huh? Question on the board. If you shop really fast in Costco, does it make it cheaper? No. <laughs> Take a guess what we spent. I know we didn't show prices like we normally do, but grand total, everything that you saw there, $633.47 is what we just spent on that cart. My guess was 209 yeah, you know what that means? It means in the current uh, economy and climate, you have to work lots of jobs to afford food. Let's roll on with the day. We got our cheap food. Grandma doing? Hi Bert, how are you doing? Good, you doing okay? I'm doing okay and I got roses. Oh, and you got roses. Look at that. Oh, fancy nice. the town like North Pole. Yeah, we're getting excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the first video that popped in restaurant. Like, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> 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 oh, we did? Yeah, it's good to see you again. It's a trip. What's your name? There's so many people. There's just, there's people and there's hugs everywhere. What's up, brother man? Good to see you. Oh, you've been good? Yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, we're good. We've been yeah. keeping up with everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, things are crazy for you guys, yeah? Yeah, crazy, crazy yeah. for all of us, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, family, say hi to Heidi. Hello! Family! Give me words of wisdom. Hello, happy peoples. Um, words of wisdom about what? I don't know. I'm just throwing you in spot. Words of wisdom. <laughs> see? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm out of blank. I'm out of blank right now. I haven't had enough caffeine today. Is right. there coffee here? I'm gonna go ask your boyfriend some words of wisdom. What do you think Ooh. he's gonna say? He'll probably have like a motivational speech. Start really? sweating. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll say something. He, he's not gonna go blank? No. no. Words of wisdom, what do you got? Oh man, words of wisdom for who? Just start anyone. now, start early. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Can we feel this? Whoa. <laughs> you see that shrug? All right, so we just came over, hung out with the fam, got to see fam that doesn't live here, so that was stinking cool. I was telling my mom when she has all of all of her little her little all of her kids around with their with their significant others, and she just lights up. She's like, oh, she's just oh, this is wonderful. It's pretty cool. We'll be doing some fun fun stuff this coming weekend, so looking forward to that. Got you groceries. And he got me groceries, because that was amazing. And I did get quite a bit of the school stuff done and organized. You so did. Okay, good. Not as much as I probably should have, but that's okay. Good times. It's good times. It's good times. It's okay. Little by little. But it's pretty late. What is it right now? 9.30. 9.30. We're starting to lose daylight. Look. It has started kind of going a little bit. But, I mean, we do get dark, dark like at night now, which is kind of crazy. But we're still soaking it. These last few days have actually been gorgeous. Yeah. Like warm, like hot. Shockingly. Yeah. And I was able to give his sister, her boyfriend, I got... I got a little, he always <laughs> loses his wallet, so <laughs> I, got him, I got him a trackable wallet, which was thinking cool. I think he liked it, uh, but you're able, he's able to just ping it off his phone, so hopefully he his wallet as much. Very thoughtful, babe. You did oh, a good job. Thanks, babe. Good job. Thanks. She's actually very thoughtful, by the way, in gifts. She's, we'll try to find exactly like a need or what someone Always kind of really like a use. need. Yeah. That's what I always try to shoot for. Or something like sentimental. 
Right. Like or I sentimental. Like or, or, or homemade yeah. and a need. And yeah, she's very extra. Oh, thanks, babe. I like doing last in apparel. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't take you to the shop. Oh. Did you go to the shop today? Oh, you didn't go to the shop today. That's why. She Okay, there are awesome pieces coming. <laughs> She has been, That's what I've been saying. more and than just... a year in development and you did not take them to the shop. I am failing at life. Oh my gosh, I totally told you I was going to do that. Th okay, can we wait to the next video? Failing. Yeah. Let's do the next video. I'm going to do it okay. the next video, guys. Okay. They I'm understand. so sorry. Look my at bad. They understand. Look, they're, they're saying they understand. But that's what I was going to say. That's partly why in my pieces, like, I like to create something that, like, gives you a legitimate taste of Alaska. Like, mm -hmm. I want to share this that I know a lot of you guys can't experience and I want to share it with you in my clothing. Anyway, okay. That's why I come up with some of the pieces, which I'm very really excited about one that's <laughs> going to be truly, truly Alaskan. Okay, we're done. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for coming, hanging out with our family. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.